is one very powerful manifestation technique to help you become extremely magnetic to anyone or anything that you want to manifest. Let's talk about it. But first, my name is Hannah Love. I'm a manifestation expert. I make manifesting simple because it is simple. And I am here to help you get what you want in life because that's why I came to this planet to get what you want. Offer one-to-one coaching as well as affirmation track audio bundles that you can get either in the link of my bio or in the caption depending on where you're watching this because I post on YouTube and TikTok every single day and Instagram here and there. So anyways, what you're going to do, and I love this technique, I'm obsessed with it, it just, it's a very simple practice to do, and it makes you instantly magnetic. So what you're going to do is you're going to focus on the thing that you want. Let's say it's a person that you want to manifest, and then I'll give you an example of like an object or maybe an opportunity that you want to manifest. You're going to imagine yourself in a blank white room, and you're standing in the middle of that room. And then you're going to imagine the person around you at four different corners. It's the I think it's called like the four corners technique or something. I discovered it a long time ago. I don't even remember where. But you're going to imagine this person that you're trying to manifest, whether it's a specific person or maybe you just want to manifest like a soulmate or a new friend, whether you know what they look like or not, whether you've met them or not, it doesn't matter. Just imagine them in the corners of the room and you're standing in the middle. And you want to imagine them thinking all of these positive, loving thoughts towards you. And you can imagine whatever you want them to think about you. You can even pretend that you are in their body sending messages to you as you're standing in the middle. And you're pretending, oh, they're thinking about me and how much they love me. Oh my gosh, they're thinking about how they want to ask me out soon. Like it doesn't really matter what it is. You get to decide because you're the creator. Now, if you want to do this, with like an object, maybe it's something physical that you want to manifest or an opportunity, what you can do is imagine, let's say this opportunity is a job that you want to manifest, okay? Or maybe it's a client. Whatever the first thing that comes to mind that reminds you of what you want to manifest, and you're going to imagine it in those four corners, okay? And then you're going to imagine that brand, the opportunity is sending you all these positive thoughts and positive feelings towards you. And they're thinking about how amazing you are and how, you know, you're the only option for them, whether that's hiring, being hired for like a position or being hired, you know, as someone to help run their business and they're a new client of yours, or you're the only option for them if it's like love that you want to manifest, or maybe you want to manifest a best friend and that best friend is thinking about how you're their number one best friend. They love you. They would do anything for you, blah, blah, blah doesn't matter. You get to choose what that thing is and what they're saying, thinking, and feeling towards you. The reason this is so powerful is because you're putting all of your attention and focus back on you. Because what happens a lot is when people are trying to manifest something, they end up putting all of their focus and attention on the thing outside of them, right? And there's nothing wrong with doing your affirmations and, you know, visualizing what you have and what you feel. But if you find yourself obsessing over when or how this thing is going to manifest, and you're putting all of your attention on that thing or that person, you need to bring the focus back in on you. That is how you become magnetic because all of your energy and attention is on you, which is the dominant source of what is creating everything around you anyways. So you always want to come back to self and you always want to come back to, okay, well, who am I being? How am I feeling? And how can I shift the focus back on me? So when I'm focused on me, everything around me and outside of me will start to focus on me as well. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want more content like this on your feed, like and follow for more.